welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Colorado Rapids 1, LA Galaxy 4. The final score line doesn't really tell the whole story, but it kind of does. Ish, it's not. The casuals will be right, but the watchers will also be right saying it doesn't, but the casuals will be right saying it kind of does, though. Either way. 1-4 to four for the LA Galaxy. They win the series 2-0. Two, two wins on the bounce. Sweep away the Rapids. They gave less of a fight than I expected. I mean, yeah, they were very tough for this most of this match until Ricky Pooge put away two breakaways late in the match to nail the coffin shut. But getting Jordy Mihaljevic back kind of was good. Kind of helped. But it just wasn't meant to be. The Galaxy on paper just so much better. MLS Western Conference quarterfinals game two of 2024. LA Galaxy wins the series 2-0. Easy as you like. Colorado Rapids, uno. LA Galaxy, cuatro. En la MLS Cup playoffs. Oeste Conferencia. Cortos de final. Partido dos. LA Galaxy ganad de City. Dos a cero. LA Galaxy moves on. They will play RSL or Minnesota, depending on how that series finishes out in the conference semis. But that should be just about as easy for them as this was. They won't have no problems till a possible El Trafico, but we'll, we'll get there as we go. Goals were scored as follows. Gabriel Peck, eight minutes in, nil one. Zach Steffen kicks the ball. Gabriel Peck jumps into the path of that ball being kicked away, cleared away. And he deflects it into the net where it was totally open. It finds its way in. Nil one. Seto uno. And you think, ah, that's not a good sign for a team who just lost 5 nil. It's going to get worse. Though it... Doesn't for a while. Oliver Laraz scores in the 19th minute. He gets the ball played to him at the top of the box. He says, screw it. I'll do it myself. Jordi Mihaljevic with the assist. He's back. And he showed that he was ready. Oliver Laraz with a banger. Laser top bends. 1-1. One, one, uno, uno. And the Rapids have a chance. But 45 plus 3. Joseph Painsel scores a goal that you just can't let up. Bombs into the box, kisses it off the post, and into the net. A golazo for Joseph Painsel from the wing. Cuts in. Beautiful goal. Can't really give that one up if you're Zach Steffen. 1-2, to two, uno a dos, halftime. 1-2, to two, uno a dos, miro tiempo. Galaxy look like they're going to cruise. They don't really do anything in the second half. The Rapids chase the game. Do nothing with it. Do absolutely nothing with it. The LA Galaxy defend well. And they really have no problem, no worry about this match turning into a draw. And then Ricky Pooh says, let me pull that worry off you a little bit. 90th minute, breakaway, nutmeg Stefan, 1-3, to three, uno a tres, easy as you like. That's the dagger. But he says, you know what? They're still breathing. Another breakaway for Ricky Pooj. He slots it home. 90 plus 2. 1, one to 4. 1 a 4. Now it ends. Two goals for Ricky Pooj. Two minutes. Right at the end of the game. With a baseball celebration after the first one to honor the Dodgers. The LA Galaxy, it's taken them a while to win another MLS Cup. And just like the Dodgers, they might be back. Who knows? Full time, one to four, uno cuatro esta noche. LA Galaxy win the series two nothing. LA Galaxy ganador de la serie dos a cero. They advance. Full time stats are as follows: eight shots of thirteen, four shots on goal to nine, forty two percent possession to fifty eight percent possession, four hundred sixty three passes to six hundred sixty one, eighty eight percent pass accuracy to eighty eight, eight fouls to six, two offside to zero, two yellow cards to two, zero red cards zero. Six corners to three. Listen, when it comes down to it for the LA Galaxy, they were the better team. A 4-1 win is what they deserve. But that second half, they really didn't pile it on. They looked like they could have piled it on in the first half. The second half, not so much. 
not so much. Like, Ricky Pooja's two goals, it's like, yeah, they dominated the game. A 4-1 win sounds about right. But really, what Ricky Pooja did was the equivalent to empty netters in hockey. And you score two empty netters on a team that you've beat 3-4. to four, And then it's 3-6. to six, And it looks like you thoroughly beat them. But really, or 1-3, to three, and you beat them 1-5, to five, right? Like, that's exactly what he did to a certain extent. And the way he had those breakaways, they pretty much were. Then you could say, but what about Gabriel Peck? That was actually one. True. But for me, Ricky Pooch was on the money late on. Man of the match because he got the two goals that really put this game away. Joseph Paintel looked pretty good. I think he also man of the match at times. Joseph Paintsill. I would agree with that. In my estimation, Joseph Paintsill being man of the match as well to a certain extent. Very good game from him. Galaxy just were coasting. Once Paintsill put in the goal, you didn't see them worried at all. I mean, the LA Galaxy beat the Rapids 9-1 to on aggregate over two games. That definitely looks like a sweep, you know? Like, that's, you say 9-1 over two games over aggregate, you're like, yeah, I'm not surprised they got swept, you know? This isn't too much of a shock. Yeah, the Colorado Rapids played tougher in this match than they did at LA Galaxy. Yes, Jordy Mihaljevic being back looked like it was going to work. Not so much, but Jordy Mihaljevic, I thought he played a good game. I really did. He got an assist, played well. The team played tough. They did try to make subs before the two goals laid on. All offensive subs, trying to get it to penalties, which probably led to them getting beat like that laid on to put this game totally away. True. Colorado, I thought, played tough. It sucks they lost 9-1 over two games and swept over two games. Whether you want to look at it from the score or the sweep, it doesn't matter. It sucks because they were a very good team this year. Chris Armas did a lot of good things for them. And turns out when you give them players that actually fit his system, they play well. Bill! Should I blame Ali? Nah, Bill's more of an idiot, to be honest. But with that being said, oh no, Mr. Bill. Oh no! Where's Sluggo when you need him? Idiot. With that being said, Colorado, they gave him, they gave Armas the players he needed. And they played well. And I think he should be coach of the year. He has an argument. And let me tell you, Colorado are tough. It sucks to see them go down this way because it doesn't show who they've been all year, who they were during League's Cup. LA Galaxy is just that much better. They're just that much more quality. That it doesn't matter how tough you are, LA Galaxy will still rip you apart and bust you like a coconut. Simple. Simple. With that being said, that's all I really could say about this match. The casuals are right saying 4 1 probably tells you the whole game, tells you what it was. The watchers probably tell you, nah, you're wrong. And they're probably right about that too. LA Galaxy was the better team, but the Rapids fought. But in the end, it was all about the Galaxy over both games. It was just a little too late for the Rapids. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification once subscribed. Send some chats on the live streams, comment on this video, put us in playlists, share us with friends and family, all that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow at 6 or 5.55. Yeah. 
for Atlanta United versus Inter Miami CF game two live and review. We're not covering anything else tomorrow. It's all about Miami because of course it would be messy mania, baby. Let's roll this thing. Even though really the best thing that happened on my channel was the a la Lee game, but we got some good energy is all I'm saying going right now. So let's keep it going. With that being said, I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification subscribe, send some chats, all that great stuff. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I'll see you Sunday. See you for a video Monday. I'll see you Tuesday. Thank you, Nestor. I'll see you Tuesday. And yeah. Wednesday too. Thursday for Chelsea. Friday won't. Saturday, game threes. Well, no, Friday is game threes. I keep forgetting. No off days. Easier days, but no off days next week. With that being said, I'll see you later. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. Congratulations, LA. Felicidades, LA. Commiserations, Colorado.